So season two for Vanguard just got delayed till February 14th. Yo, happy Valentine's Day. Honestly, what better love letter than to add a pause button to Call of Duty Zombies? But season two got delayed for Vanguard, and let's read up on what Vanguard and Call of Duty said, and then go from there. So in a blog post, Call of Duty said, Status report, Call of Duty community update, an ongoing commitment to improving your gameplay experience, delivering the best game experience possible across Call of Duty is our top priority. We're committed to supporting healthy games and thriving community so that we can all play and have fun together. Your feedback means everything to us. So far, that's an LOL Omega LOL Papega forehead. But at this point, we, uh, we're getting a little bit more communication from Call of Duty on kind of what's going on, and they actually went on to say exactly that. They said, currently our community is experiencing issues across Call of Duty Vanguard, Warzone Pacific, and Modern Warfare. Notice how the only one that isn't experiencing problems is Cold War, the Treyarch game? I'm just saying! We feel your frustrations and hear you loud and clear. To date, we've deployed a number of updates, but more needs to be done. For this reason, we have decided to reschedule the start of Season 2 across Warzone Pacific and Vanguard to February 14th. We will use this additional development time to deliver updates, including optimizations to gameplay, game balancing, including weapon and equipment balancing, to fix game stability and bugs, and to ensure an overall level of polish to improve the experience for players across Vanguard, Warzone Pacific, Black Ops Cold War, and Modern Warfare. So Season 2 was originally supposed to release right around like February 3rd or 4th, if I remember correctly. Basically, well, next two weeks from now. But unfortunately, that is no longer the case, and we're actually having to wait a little under a month, probably three and a half weeks, or give or take, from the time of you watching this video. February 14th now, so about two weeks later than what was originally anticipated. And they say that they're doing this because they need to fix some issues and bugs inside of the game, and honestly, I think that's a W. I think that's a big deal for the Call of Duty game to kind of realize, hey, we need to fix these issues. We know that you guys are tired of getting crap that is not finished, so we're gonna go ahead and finish it this time. I know a lot of people are gonna complain that they were on a month long break in December and now we are delayed for season two. I, I hear you, I hear I hear your, uh, your pain there. I also understand why they needed a break with everything else going on with Activision and Bobby Kotick and now Microsoft buying up Activision. There's a lot going on at Activision behind the scenes and unfortunately it is also affecting its player base. So going on more what they said, they said Vanguard and Warzone Pacific season two delay. The expected launch is now February 14th instead of February 2nd. There you go, I was a few days off. This will allow us to continue balancing and optimizing your gameplay experience, which remains our priority. More communication is to come. Going forward, you can expect to hear from us more often regarding Call of Duty's state of play. Thank God we never get that right now at all with Vanguard. Studios remain focused on continuously improving your game experience, and we greatly value our community feedback. More frequent detailed communications updates will be posted here and across Call of Duty social channels. And then it goes into all the different places on Twitter that you can go ahead and follow to find all of these updates for the game that you're looking at. So let me know in the comments down below, are you guys happy that Season 2 got delayed if it's only going to be making Season 2 better and less buggy? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a great your day. Here's what's coming in Season 2, and I'll see you soon. A big shout out to all the channel members over on the channel, and an extra special shout out to all of the Zombie Richtoff members, starting off with the M60 wielding maniac, Deathwish, my guy, Ben the Bulldozer, and the man, the myth, the legend, Tiz Brandon, ZR.